Hi, in this video, I'll talk about the SAS procedure prop can code. Okay, uh, so uh, prop can code is used to identify and measure the associations among uh, two sets of variables. Uh, imagine a situation where you have uh, multiple dependent variables. Okay. Um, and of course, in even in multiple regression, we have multiple independent variables, but we always have a one independent variable. What if we have, you know, more than one independent variable, and we want to know the relationship, um, interrelationship between two sets of variables, set of dependent, set of independent variables. So in that case, uh, multiple regression uh, will not uh, be of help. So we need to go for uh, what is known as the um, Canonic, uh, canonical correlations. <clears throat> so to illustrate this, uh, I'll take a data set uh, wherein I have uh, the uh, uh, two types of variables. Uh, one is physiological measurements, another uh, set of variables are exercises. So physiological measurements are the weight, waist, and pulse, and the uh, exercises variables are chin, sit-ups, and jumps. So my intention here is to know how this set of variables, first set of variables, the uh, physiological variables are, you know, in some way related to the um, the uh, exercise variables. Um, okay. Uh, or in other words, uh, we can say that okay, uh, how how are the factors related to each other, or um, or is there is there a common factor that uh, explains the relationship between the first three variables and the next three variables so the first set of variables the next set of variables so that's basically is the uh, the intention this is a multivariate analysis we use proc can core uh, then data input data set um, these are optionals you can mention the titles and all uh, but yes your in var statement you have to mention the uh, first set of variables and uh, the next set of variables with uh, a keyword with and when you will run this you will get the canonical uh, coefficients and you should be able to interpret that uh, some error okay we haven't run your data statement so let's run both together. So uh, uh, you'll have the basics, uh, statistics, mean, standard deviations, followed by the the normal correlations between the variables, and then followed by the canonical correlation analysis. Uh, this is very important. Um, uh, in this case, we'll have three canonical correlations uh, coming out of the analysis because we have got three variables in place uh, or three interactions. Uh, so the first interaction says, uh, what is the canonical correlation between, uh, uh, you know, between the set of variables uh, it, it's like you know different uh, factors in a factor analysis similarly we'll have three canonical correlations each one uh, explaining uh, the correlation between the set of variables uh, in most of the cases it's only the first one or two or three which is going to be significant others are not going to be significant in this case I don't know who uh, whether how many are significant looking at the p-value you can get to know that uh, you know which one is significant you can see only the first canonical correlation uh, is significant, the other two are not. So we explain uh, with the fact that the canonical correlation is 0.79 here and it, it's a fairly strong one. Uh, <clears throat> there are uh, uh, multivariate uh, statistics and F statistic for the joint hypothesis. Uh, and then there is raw canonical coefficients uh, analysis wherein uh, the psychological uh, Canonical coefficients are correlate, uh, you know, are uh, explained in the same matrix uh, with uh, with the corresponding uh, variables, and uh, the estimate that we see on the screen is similar to the regression coefficients. It's like you know, if there is a um, 
one in, in, unit increase in the value of weight there will be uh, you know 0 0.03 uh, decrease in the uh, first uh, psychological uh, canonical coefficients so in that way we interpret that similarly uh, we can uh, have the same kind of a matrix for the variables related to exercises uh, we also get the standardized coefficients uh, just to compare the uh, you know the estimates uh, similar to the standardized regression coefficients in the regression analysis um, and then some more statistics some of them um, are, may not be not be very useful but yes the ones which are useful I just discussed so um, just to summarize it's one important uh, statistical measures uh, that uh, helps you really understand uh, the uh, correlation or the relation between set of variables, uh, one set of variables with the other set of variables.